Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back. It's good to be back. I, I missed you all. Um, uh, I, I thought, seeing as I've just got this distillation, which is really slowly going along, it's just bloody more dichloromethane from paint stripper. I'm sick of doing it. But um, while that's, you know, rumbling along, I guess I'll uh, answer some questions about where I've been and what I've been doing. Oh, there's a lot of dichloromethane coming out. I'll answer some questions about where I've been and what I've been doing once I um, replace um, the ice pack and the cooling water so there's not so much vapour coming out of my system. Hmm. On this side, I will be asking the questions, uh, but I'll be wearing a beanie. Hello. Hello, Tom. Where where have you been? What what you been up to? As I mentioned just before the break, uh, I was taking on an internship for four months, and um, that was really great. Um, I really enjoyed that. And um, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, now that it's complete, are you going to tell people what you did over there or, or not? Yeah, I, I know it's a bit lame, but even though it's over, I'm not really going to talk about it very much. So uh, not telling people what you did, that uh, that means weapons, right? What, weapons? You were, you were designing weapons. What? No, not, no, not, not, not really, no, not, nah. Right. Nah, 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 not really. Uh, the reason I want to talk about it, as I, as I probably mentioned, I haven't really gone back and watched that video since, but um, as I probably mentioned, it's just about keeping a separation between my professional life and, and, my, and my channel here. It's about demonstrating that I can do other things in my professional life and I, I don't just come onto the YouTube channel and talk all about it. Because there were people there who recognised me from my channel, which was surprising uh, and, um, I mean, it's hilarious, but it's just... It's, I'm just such an awkward person, especially in person, like through the video and the editing, I get to strip a lot of that out, but man, I'm an awkward person. So it's always funny when people are like, oh, mate, I've seen your channel. And it's like, oh, fuck, sorry. And they're like, no, nah, it's, it's all right. I'm like, oh, fuck, all right. That's generally how the conversation goes, except it's, except it's more awkward. All right, important question then. It's been several months. You completed your bloody thesis yet? You've finished your thesis yet, mate? No, no, I haven't finished my thesis. Uh, I was hoping that I would go to the internship during the day and then I could make my hobby doing a physics thesis. But it turns out that your hobby actually needs to be somewhat interesting and stimulating. And it's hard to go to work all day and then come home and start looking at more graphs on the screen. I didn't really make very much progress with my thesis while I was at the internship. So I'm really looking at the next, I suppose, six to eight months on my thesis to try and try and finish it off. Um, which, uh, yeah... I'm going to need all the luck <laughs> I can get, honestly. And I did say I was going to have a break from Explosions and Fire content until I finished my physics thesis. But I don't fucking know. It's my life, right? I don't have to suffer, you know, if I, if I don't want to. I said there was going to be a break of six months to 12 months, I think, for the main channel videos. But I think it'll be closer to six months than it will 12 months. It's too far away and it's too sad and I need some fucking joy in my life. And um, <laughs> that's what this channel provides. So. Yep, enough about your boring personal life. Tell me tell me about the channel. What's the channel updates? Oh, Come channel on. updates. Yes, so um, the big updates are really I've, I've tried to improve my, my filming equipment. In my previous camera, my DSLR, has been this uh, Nikon D3200. And it's worked really, really well. It's been really sort of rugged and, and done you know, hundreds of hours of filming. I think it's time to, to upgrade. So I've upgraded to a Sony a7 III, which is fantastic, and it can do 4K now, which um, is really cool. I'm not gonna render the stuff in 4K, but it allows me to like really zoom in, which I was doing before, but there was always a huge quality drop. So now I can zoom in and still sort of export at 1080p, and it's not as noticeable. I don't know, it's a, it's a subtle thing, but it should make a, make a big difference. Uh, pretty much 99 out of 100 shots filmed with this camera was just with the stock lens. Um, which is a pretty pretty versatile lens, but it's not it's not fantastic, so I couldn't really get like super nice shots. So what I've been trying to do, and I've been trying out, is uh, changing over lenses with the the Sony A7. I've got a couple lenses, um, including a, a macro. Yeah, I've been trying that out. I mean, the big downside is it really slows down the filming because once again, it's just me, and you can imagine I'm doing some reaction that's you know. A lot more exciting than this you know involving heavy metals and then I'm there and I'm trying to film at the same time and then I think oh wouldn't it be great if I swapped out a lens I'm wearing gloves and there's heavy metal everywhere and dust I swap lenses in the lab or do I have to take the camera away to a safe area and then swap the lens and then come back and hope the reaction is still the same and then film and I mean the focus is always on the chemistry and trying to get the chemistry done but I'm just trying to work out 
um, how I can improve the, the filming without slowing it down too much. It won't be a sort of an immediate change, but over the next couple of videos, you'll start to see um, improvements in things and maybe, you know, other couple of lenses. It won't super be obvious or anything like that, but um, um, it just got a little bit more of a focus on, on filming and getting nicer shots. So I might even start to think about improving the lighting in the lab, um, you know, getting some more... LED strips or something like that just to just to light up certain areas and oh and also the sound well I got a new mic and it's coming through a you know a preamp into the camera so I don't have to film it onto a external laptop and then have to resync the sound it might not be the best sound in the world but it's easy enough that um, I can make it work so <laughs> it's not like the videos were fast to produce before they were still taking me months and months so um, you know if I try and get every shot perfect and everything like that. You know, I'm making two videos on the main channel a year and that's just ridiculous. So specifically this channel, uh, you know, what what's going on here? What's, what are we planning for here? In terms of extractions, oh, I really want to power through this Cubane uh, synthesis. Um, uh, there'll be another Cubane video very shortly uh, in the next couple of days, I think. Maybe even the day after this video goes up. I'm impatient. And then I think there's a heavy metal video and, and an organic-ish kind of video um, that have been going along in the background. And then um, we'll keep going with the, uh, the Cubane series. All right, that's uh, about all the questions I have. Um, I'm going to take off this beanie now. Can I pull off a beanie? I don't think I can. I'm not a beanie person, am I? I'm not cool enough to be a beanie person. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I'm putting any thought into that. That's ridiculous. Uh. All right.